Bonjour à tous. Hello everyone, welcome to Explore Angola. Let's embark on an expedition to discover one of Africa's least explored regions. As you'll see, the biodiversity is exceptional in this territory, which is the Okavanga Delta's water source and classed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Take a look. What began as an adventure down an unexplored Angolan river has turned into a six-year mission to understand and protect one of the world's last intact wetland wildernesses. A crew of National Geographic scientists, explorers and filmmakers made it their mission to traverse the many Angolan rivers that supply water to Botswana's world-famous Okavango Delta. Since 2015, the National Geographic Okavango Wilderness Project team has traveled thousands of kilometers on the Angolan rivers that make up one of the last intact wetlands in the world, a watershed area larger than the size of England. We had one goal in the beginning, which was to understand and to discover. And we've done very well in that regard. Probably somewhere in the region of 30 new species to science. We've got hundreds of species not known to be there. Conducting biodiversity surveys and collections, the team has helped to build a better scientific picture of the region. Discovering Angola and documenting Angola scientifically, there is no other way to describe it. It's a dream. They set up camera traps, unmanned, motion-activated cameras that confirmed the presence of critically endangered lion, cheetah, leopard, and African wild dog. On their first expedition, the team expected a normal river, but what they found was a marshy area. It turned out to be an incredible scientific discovery. On expedition in 2015, the team cored into the bog-like soil and discovered peat, an accumulation of partially decayed vegetation. We've discovered a peatland resource that is probably in excess of 35 to 40,000 square kilometers. That is the second biggest system of peatlands in Africa. That is a giant sponge releasing water into these rivers. Peat holds 10 times its weight in water, which ensures that even as climate change can lead to drier years, the water of the Okavango watershed keeps flowing. Peat also absorbs excess carbon in the atmosphere, helping to mitigate the global effects of climate change. During the process of discovering these new things about a landscape that no one really knew anything about, we found new opportunities, uh, potential for protected areas. Each year, 2.5 trillion liters of pristine water flow from Angola to support the lives of thousands of people and countless wildlife in Botswana's Okavango Delta. But the rivers that supply this water in Angola are not protected from commercial development, wildlife trafficking, and deforestation. For the project, the goal is to work with local communities to protect this entire watershed area and help Angola reap the benefits of the water in a sustainable fashion. Reaching as many people as possible is the main goal because that's how we can guarantee the well-being of these people and, consequentially, the environment around them. The project's work to protect this ecosystem has helped highlight the global importance of southeastern Angola. They found traces of elephant, Lots of broken branches, as you can see, and on the ground as well. This elephant was here less than a week ago. Inspiring hope in the hearts of many Angolans that through protection and the establishment of a sustainable conservation economy, we could, one day, see populations of some of Africa's most charismatic species returning to these stomping grounds in Angola once more. That beautiful report was by Kaya Anser. There are more adventures from Angola on Euronews.com. Thanks for joining us. See you soon.